I'm going to ask the same question you just heard me ask Jason. Of this day. Is that about as much as a team can get tested with, with the losses piling up, 21 nothing, the crowd the way it was in the dome? I mean, is that a really tough atmosphere to stay competitive in and to stay <coughs> Well, um, you know, I thought we dug, we dug ourselves in, a, in an obvious hole, you know, early on. Um, you know, I thought we fought back. Um, obviously, you know, towards the, the end of the game, you know, we had two opportunities to, um, you know, get off the field on third and, you know, eight plus, which is which should be advantage defense. So, um, you know, just just left. Through, obviously, started the game, you know, slow, and then towards the end, man, we just we just didn't come away with the play, um, which is, you know, it's like it's deflating, you know, to say the least. But I just mean. Spirits up. I mean, is that in real jeopardy and when the team's in a situation? <clears throat> um, man, uh, no, I don't think so. Um, you know, I think with the with the kind of guys we got on the sideline, um, you know, obviously coaches who, you know, have been in this league a, a long time. Uh, I think a lot of us has, you know, kind of seen it all. You know, so uh, you know, I wouldn't say we were discouraged. Um, you just got to find a way to band together and uh, you know pull together. Uh, which I thought we did, you know, uh, for a good part of it. And then, like I said, towards the end, uh, just couldn't come away with the plays. Hey, Tyron, having grown up in New Orleans and understanding how passionate this fan base is, what would be your message to you know, here's the Oh, man, uh, <clears throat> obviously, uh, uh, you know, it's disappointing. You know, obviously, um, you know, I think we all need to play better. Um, you know, I think growing up in this city, it's no secret that we're all invested, you know what I mean? And uh, so obviously they, they have a right to um, apply pressure, so to speak. Um, but at the end of the day, man, uh, you know, we want family, we want community, and um, it's going to take all of us, you know? How big of a tough matchup was before today? Well, he's going to be a good player. I told him after the game. Um, just crafty for a rookie, man. Uh, the kind of routes he run, uh, you know, his frame, you know, his length. Um, and, and then obviously, you know, uh, anytime you and the quarterback on the same page, um, you know, they're going to come away with some plays. Uh, I, I thought he probably had two of the more clutch plays, you know, in this game. So uh, it, was, it was a few third downs in there where we had everybody covered. And then, you know, he's put the ball on his body, you know, not his first down. So, uh we just got to do a better job uh, in, in the back end of just challenging guys, uh, understanding their route tree, what to expect. But, uh, you know, nevertheless, man, uh, he's going to be a good player for a long time. To see the crowd jump on there the way they did with the booze, like, does it reach a point where you kind of have to ask them to stop even though it's that right? Or like, how do you guys? I mean, obviously, at a, at a certain point in the game, right, like we're rallying, like we're getting back in it. Uh, we can hear our fans again. Um, and like I alluded to, man, a couple minutes ago, like, like you know, uh, when I think of Saints football, you know, obviously you think of Drew Brees, right? Uh, you know, all the great players that, that have wore these uh, colors. Um, but when I think of Saints, man, I, I always think of community. Like, it has very little to do with the football team in my sense. Uh, so, uh, you know, obviously we have to play better, right? We got to get them something to cheer for. Uh, we got to give them something to be proud of. And so uh, I think that responsibility, you know, falls on us. You know, as players. Does that make it more emotional? You being from here, you knowing how much it is community, and yet for one reason or another, you can't kind of get over the hump in, in a lot of these games. It's been tough, man. Uh, you know, this season hasn't gone nearly the way you know we wanted it to go. Um, obviously, there, there's a sense of urgency, man. You, after a while, you run out of opportunities, all right? And so. Uh, you know, you just got to find a way to, um, man, stick together. You know, I think um, we got a lot of good players. We got a lot of good coaches. I keep saying this, um, but we got to find a way to uh, to always believe. And uh, I, th I think today was probably, uh, you know, a good uh, example of that is, you know, we down early, 21-0. Uh, obviously, the crowd is – is not into it, and yet we still believe in each other and, and put ourselves in a position to possibly, you know, win the game. So um, I'm proud of that. I'm encouraged by that. 
Uh, and then I'm proud of the way our fans came back, you know, uh, you know, towards the end of the game. Like, we needed that. And so uh, I think that had a good impact on us defensively um, because we were kind of able to put together, you know, three, four, you know, drives where you know, we were on and off the field. So, um, man, we won team. We won family. And uh, like I said, we got to give them something to, you know, be proud of. Middle of all that, if you're Taysom said, you know he didn't hear the boos. If, if you're the type of player that that does hear it, is do the boos bother you more, or is it like hearing the Lions chants in your own stadium? I probably say the Lions chants. Uh, like I said, man, like we're all invested in this game. Uh, you know, from media to players, family, coaches, our associates, right? Um, man, everybody got a hand in this, and so. Uh, uh, you know, obviously, man, like I said, I keep saying, we just got to find a way to kind of tune that out and stick together as uh, much as we can. Um, you know, I think being a teammate of someone that is getting booed, um, you want to be encouraging to that person, right? You want to continue to lift that person up. And, uh, you know, Derek was able to make some plays for us today, um, you know, in spite of, you know, all that that was going on. Yeah, I mean, I think these, 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 um, really this next month, man, is, I think it's going to be a big test uh, for us. It'll be a big challenge um, to see what kind of character uh, that we have. So, um, you know, obviously it's not over, you know, by, by any sense. But there, there, there is a sense of urgency to, you know, put together a good game, you know, especially in front of our home crowd. So, uh, you know, like I mentioned, uh, you know, a couple of minutes ago, I think that that, fall, that falls on us, you know, as players to, you know, be absolutely ready. Um, and you know, like I said, man, just get these get these people, give our coaches, our families, you know, something to uh, really be proud of. Because I think a lot of people in New Orleans, they they want to celebrate you, they want to be happy for you. And so, um, but you got to give them something to look forward to. The f defense is easy. Um, <clears throat> it, it's always about tackling. Um, you know, obviously, you know, leverage. You know, fundamentals. Uh, I, I thought early on, man, like we were just—I don't know what it was. I don't know what word to use, but um, you know, we weren't ready. And so, uh, you know, obviously, poor tackling. Uh, you know, miscommunication. All the things that haunt defenses. Uh, I think that kind of showed up. You know, in the first couple drives. Um, and you know, I think after that, we, we kind of settled down. We we realized that you know, like we could play with these dudes. Like they're not doing anything that you know we haven't prepared for. Um, but yeah. Why, why do you think that's more. been the case three or four times now? That's so uncharacteristic of the defense to have that happen. I don't know, man. I I can't necessarily put a finger on it. The, the only thing I can say is. Or uh, like like what's the common you know the denominators is like you know, anytime we start slow this year defensively it is always kind of came down to tackling you know miscommunication um, and it's giving those guys you know opportunities to to, to make it a two two score game three score game and so uh, I mean we we we've had opportunities to get off the field all season long uh, especially early on in the game. Um, we, we just haven't been able to, to get it done. Uh, obviously, practice is important. You know, I think you continue to, you know, practice hard, and uh, you continue to try to, you know, sharpen the things that that that, that you need to sharpen. Uh, but I don't have an answer. I, I just, you know, I probably just say it's, you know, what it's always is, you know, when you play bad defense, is you know, tackling and miscommunication. Appreciate it. Thank you.